Oh my gosh. What in the world? What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. It is fall here in Delaware, mid-October. Everything's cooling down. It's getting a lot tougher to catch fish and the bite is going subsurface for these snakeheads that we've been targeting lately. So today, I have a bait that I'm gonna be trying out that looks really, really nice. I'm super excited to use it. We're gonna be switching things up from the typical topwater frog fishing that we have been doing and going subsurface, trying to catch more snakeheads and bow fins. So let me show you guys this bait real quick. So this right here is called a splatter bait. This is made by Addiction Baits, a local company here on Delmarva. I'll leave the link to get one of these in the description if you want. But this is a cross between a chatter bait and a spinner bait. It's a really cool looking lure. And I'm not just committing to fish with this today. We might go to something else, but this is what we're gonna start out with. It's a really cool looking bait and I can't wait to get out on the water and try this thing out. So yeah guys, this thing looks absolutely amazing. Like I said, we're gonna get out on the water right now and try this thing out in the middle of October. See if we can't get on a late season hot snakehead bite. Come with me and let's see how we do today. All right, here we go this morning. We are out on the water. My buddy Josh is somewhere behind the uh, weeds over there. But we are out here again together fishing and I've got this really interesting bait that I already showed you guys in the intro, the old splatter bait from Addiction Baits. It's the cross between a chatter bait and a spinner bait and it looks so freaking cool in the water. Let me show you guys a little bit of this action right there. Hopefully you can see it pretty well, but it's uh, it's really cool looking and I'm excited to get after it here this morning trying to catch snakehead and bowfin with it. We have an outgoing tide here this morning and that's usually when it's best fishing right here. So I'm super excited. It did rain last night and uh, the water's a little bit muddy, but with this action on this bait, with the vibration and the reflection on that spinner blade, we should be able to get a couple of bites here today. Just gotta make the most of it when we do get those bites and set the hook as hard as we possibly can because these fish are tricky. And uh, just because you get bites doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna catch the fish. So we gotta be on our A game and I plan on doing exactly that. Main pattern today is just gonna be working the edges of these weed lines right here. That's where the fish are probably gonna be. You know, snakeheads are always tight to cover, typically. And the same with bow fins. So we're just gonna be casting along stuff like this and bringing it right along the edge, hoping something is waiting in there to ambush this uh, splatter bait right here. Gotta love going through all the thick stuff like this. It's honestly, Fishing, man, it's an experience. Like, it's not all about just catching the fish. Sometimes it's about just having that adventure and getting through some really cool weeds and some thick areas to get to another spot, like right over here. Just a lot of fun. We got a fish, guys. What the? What in the heck? It's a big yellow perch. It's a big old yellow perch. <laughs> that is a bit of a surprise for sure, but it is the first fish of the day and it's on the splatter bait, so that's super cool. You know, I had had a couple of bites, guys, and they were just nipping at it and I thought maybe they were bluegills or perch or something, but I'm gonna guess that they were perch based on this right here. That's what I got them on right there, Addiction Bait Splatter Bait. Super cool bait, super cool fish. You know, not the target today, not a snakehead or a bowfin, but that is a beautiful little yellow perch and I haven't caught one of these in a while, so super cool to get him. Look at the uh, orange pattern right there on the fins. Just a gorgeous fish. All right, buddy. Man, what a beautiful fish. Sweet. Let's hope this thing catches multi-species today and uh, that's a great start right there with the perch. Totally unexpected, super cool and wow, definitely a surprise. If you guys wanna use what I'm using and buy an addiction bait splatter bait right here, I will leave the link in the description of this video. 
so you can go over there to addiction baits and get your own because they will catch multiple species obviously and I'm sure it's a great snakehead bait as well like I'm thinking if they're biting they're gonna hit this bait because it just looks insane it stands out in this muddy water right now and the action is just ridiculous so if they're gonna be biting today they're gonna bite this What in the world is happening right there? This stuff is going down right in front of me. There's stuff getting annihilated right there. Minnows are just jumping for their lives. Love to catch whatever's doing that. Really, other than that, I have not seen hardly any activity here on the top of the water at all though. Which is a little bit of a bad sign, but we'll fish through it. Man, something just thumped it so hard right there. <sighs> Dude, that was a bowfin. Seeing the bubbles everywhere. That was a dang bowfin right there. Gotta eat it next time, buddy, come on. One thing I've noticed out here is that uh, even when the snakehead bite isn't necessarily really hot, the bowfin are still active. Like, they will hit even if snakeheads are not active, so. We got that going for us. First cast on the frog. Are you kidding me? Literally my first cast on the frog. I had not had anything going on all day long. That's literally insane, guys. So Josh is over there, way behind the weeds. You can't even see him. And he had been throwing the venom frog all morning with no luck. He switched over to a different color. I'm not sure which color. And he got one, and he yelled over to me and let me know. So I switched up immediately, because I, I knew they're hitting top water now. And I tossed the frog in there first, freaking cast, and uh, pull out this little guy right here. So. Not a big one, but just awesome. Literally awesome. Still catching topwater fish when the water's this cold is just amazing. And not a big one, but hopefully the first of many on top water today. Gonna let him go right here. Just a little guy, but one for one, you cannot beat that. You know, I probably will switch back to the chatterbait at some point, but if they're gonna be hitting the frog like this, I'm not gonna put it down. I mean, we honestly, we do have good topwater conditions right now. Overcast skies, completely overcast, not an ounce of sun out here. Water's not that cold. Like, it's pretty cold, but it's not that cold. On a warming trend here, these are like the last three days that could hit 80. I know right now it's about 72 degrees. But for October, this is pretty warm. So if they're going to be hitting topwater, I'm going to take full advantage of these last few days here. Uh, hello? Just spooked something big. <laughs> Look at that bubble trail. I must have came right up on him. Wow. Some big bubbles. I mean, this water is only about a foot, foot and a half deep, so I came right over that thing's head, whatever it was.
out. What do we got? Oh, it's a bass. I know. <laughs> Good hit. Good hit. What do we got here? There we go. Snakehead on the inline spinner, and he just thumped it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, man, I've missed a lot of bites today, so that one feels good. This one, guys, was on the Addiction Baits inline spinner, and he got a mouthful of it. So if you guys want to use one of these baits, check them out. I will leave the link down in the description below if you want to buy some. They obviously work, as you can see. And I actually got the brand new snakehead grippers from Addiction Baits as well. So super cool stuff. Beautiful little snakehead right there, about a two pounder, not a big guy, but he hit it like an absolute freight train. So that's super cool. That's how you can tell a fish wanted a bait, guys. Look at that thing in his mouth. It's just T-boned. Bait is out. That's what I got him on right there. I'll show you guys in a little more detail in a minute. But again, really nice fish. Time to say goodbye here, buddy. Thank you so much. Woo! <laughs> little goodbye jump right there. But here is exactly what we caught him on. It's a big inline spinner right here. First time I've ever used this bait before and I'm impressed. It's got a, I think 3.8 inch paddle tail right there in kind of a natural sunfish color. And this big spinning blade on the front and it just has pretty cool action on it. So I'll show you guys in a second here, the action right there, but overall really cool bait. And uh, as you can see, it works pretty well. So here's a little bit of the action on this thing. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. There you go right there. Just got a really wide wobble with the swim bait on there. And then this reflection and the thump caused by this big blade right there. That just gives it some unreal action. And uh, we're going to try to get one more fish today. It's been a slow day. It's been a struggle, but we've caught three species now with the bass, the yellow perch and two snakeheads. So pretty solid day so far to, to be honest especially with how slow it's been it's just it's been a grind but we've made the most of it out here Josh has two snakeheads I believe and he's got them both on top water so we're grinding out here in October man we're making it happen on a tough day and back at the beginning of the video I said uh, that the water was muddy and that was true but as the day is going on the water is cleared up quite a bit so that's why I put on this natural color I was trying like whites and black and blue and stuff like that that you would use in dirty water but I switched over to something more natural for this you know clearer water right here and it's uh beginning to pay off I've had like four or five bites I probably haven't even shown them on this thing right here and they're just short striking it so it feels really good to actually land one and a couple I'm sure were not even snakeheads it was like perch again or pickerel Is it just coming up and like pecking at it then darting away? Oh my gosh. What in the world? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> That's a nice snakehead. <laughs> wow. That's a good one. He's strong. It scared me to death, man. That's a quality fish. Dude, there's like a log in the water right here, right? So he hit it, ran into the log, and the log came shooting up out of the water. I'm like, what the heck? I, I know I'm not snagged. And then I pulled back and he started fighting like crazy. Oh yeah, that is a quality fish right there, man. Probably a five pounder. Wow. This addiction baits thing, man, this is legit. This is legit. Wow. Great fish to end the day, man. That makes it all worth it. 
Man, it took me a minute to get that uh, hook out of his mouth because he just engulfed that thing. But man, that is a tank of a snakehead right there. Probably five to six pounds and he's a fat boy. He's been feeding up for the winter here and he just engulfed that addiction baits inline spinner right there. So really, really nice looking fish. We're gonna say goodbye right here. Just a great way to end the day out here. It's uh, It's been tough, but that makes it all worth it right there, catching that fish. Three snakeheads, one yellow perch, and one bass. And the big boy to end it all out right there. So, just a fun day. All right, buddy. Ready? Oh, and there he goes, somewhere down there. Sweet. Sweet.